Welcome back to Let's Play Fate of the World with me Axiom. Now this is going to be sort of an intermediate video. I decided to continue this Let's Play. The main reason for this is, well, uh, did you really think I was going to just leave it there? <laughs> Half finished and all? No don't think so. We're going to get through this. We are going... well... I'm most likely going to fail and the world will plummet into disaster. But I will do with whatever I can to try and make sure that doesn't happen. Um, we are currently at the halfway point. It's 2070 and let's see if I can find the... Well, what I need to do, there we go, I need to reach 2120. And as you may remember, we started in 2020, so 50 years have passed. 50 more to go. Um, but this is going to be an intermediate video because I am not going to play any cards. I'm not going to take my turn at all. I'm going to give you all a uh, status report on the world as it looks today. The year is 2070. The news say that we have just reached two degrees of global warming. There's a massive resource shortage. And I say massive because it is only going to get worse from here since population is rising and resource usage is going to increase. Arctic methane is still worsening. And yeah, the global population is over 9 billion people. If we look at the world population here, you'll see that some regions in the Americas are actually decreasing. Africa, also a few areas of decreased population. The Middle East. All Nearly all of India is decreasing in population, mostly due to famine and a very sick environment. We have an eco campaign going strong in southern Asia. Renewable energy expansion is stalled in China. There's smog in... Uh, Asia as well, and a sick environment, lots of places. Order emerges from chaos in the Middle East. Peaceful protests in uh, Europe. Yeah, this is where we left off. If we take a look at the temperature changes, the world is a hot place to live right now. And a cold one as well. Because the extremes go in both directions. Quite a grim picture, isn't it? Looking 60 years into the future. 60 years. Earth change. Yeah. The Earth has changed quite a bit since we started. If you can see here, the southern parts of Sweden, for instance, are already getting enveloped by the ocean. Japan is probably on its way, we can see here. Most of Scandinavia, or 
just about all of it. And Russia. Looked like an arid wasteland. Perhaps it's just a perpetual cloud of smog. Same with Canada, Alaska. Doesn't look pleasant. The rainforests in Africa and in South America are almost gone. We have just now halted deforestation in Latin America. Not much green left on the map, is there? This is where we are at. Now, I will assume that you have seen the previous video in this Let's Play. I'm going to go through this and then I'm going to start over. I'll do the first mission and then this mission again, whether I win or lose this time. And then, <laughs> hopefully, having won this scenario at least once, I'll go on to do the other ones as well. Showcase the game, game some more. And make a very serious Let's Play. But we're also about to have some fun. Saving the world. What could be more fun than that? Really. Now, as you can see here, we are starting to get a decrease in uh, emissions. Temperatures are still rising though. Yeah, we're getting close to the big three. Population still on the rise. And gross domestic production seems to have stalled a bit. Now, one thing I could do is go into the individual countries. Let's see if I can find the right button. That's emissions for North America. They are down. That's good. Here we go can see what's causing the emissions. Energy production is the big emitter right here. Forestry is actually taking a bit of it away. We can go into the different sectors or sections. Um, I'm not going to show all of this for every region because that would just simply take too long for this. Um, but the purpose of this video is I want you to make a guess how far am I going to be able to sustain hope god damn it way with you that's what I want to know how many years do you think that I can manage without reaching either of these four loose conditions. Do you think that I can actually win this? And if you do, how do you think I'll win this? What will be the deciding factor? Will it be my attention to details and careful selection of what cards I play? Will it be dumb luck? Will it be focusing on a particular area? Because keep in mind, we have 50 years to go. Just 50 years, that's 10 turns. And even if you uh, come in late, 
you may find this several this let's play several months after I've actually posted it and completed it. Uh, it might still be fun for you to post your comment here after viewing the first video. If you haven't, I suggest you watch it. If you have the time, I know it's an hour and a half, so it's more like a movie. I uh, sort of lost track of time when I was recording that, which I'm probably doing right now as well. So this will probably be a video a lot longer than I expected it to be. <coughs> but still, post your comment. What do you think will happen to the world by the year 2120? If I even get that far. You can come back once this is all done and see how well this playthrough matched up to your expectations, to your guess. Were you close or did it turn out completely different? Is the world going to end or am I going to actually accomplish what seems impossible at this point? and actually reach the year 2120 with hope still intact. I want to know what you think and then I will continue and do my best when deciding the fate of the world. <laughs>